degree. Um, as far as sketching this angle, again, this one gets a little bit confusing because now, like last problem, we broke it into fourths. But now we need to break it up into thirds. Now we also know that here is our positive direction, and here is when we're finding an angle in the negative direction, where this is always our initial. Always our initial side. All right? So, well, that was quick. So, here is our uh, initial side that we have here. So, when breaking up into thirds, a lot of times what I like to do is I like to leave the horizontal because we know that's half of the circle, which is pi. But then what I can do is break up these halves and turn this into thirds. Right? So now going in the negative direction, this is negative pi over 3, negative 1 pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3, negative 3 pi over 3, negative 4 pi over 3. So that's your angle right there, which again would have been in the second quadrant. Okay. Um, 